Uh, my name is Eddie Gray, I'm a guitar player, jazz guitarist, recording artist and composer. That's so why I am, that's what I do. I think like most other musicians in, in this country, especially this town, we all started playing in church. I had a couple of years playing in church as a music director for a church called Nairobi Chapel. And that's when I learned all the basic instruments at a time. I just figured out how to arrange stuff, how to put together a set, how to put together a group of musicians and to train together to play, to come up with a sound. I could actually just play without being, how do you call it, being a uh, study, you know, or being in the public eye. And I found a couple of friends who were jazz musicians at that time. We used to jam at uh, some jazz clubs, small jazz clubs, uh, you know, Gong Road, you know, K1, the Marsha, and I used to pop by with my guitar, you know, sitting on one song that I actually understood and played like three chords, you know, and it was fun for me just to come out and have friends watch me get on stage. And uh, eventually the relationship grew because now with time, I'd get challenged. Uh, you know, you know what, um, if he can do this, then probably let me try and do this. So I sat down with lots of saxophone players, because there are not very many guitar players at that time. So I sat down with lots of saxophone players and learned melodies and songs, you know, jazz standards. And, Yes, you know, if you've been exposed to Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Coltrane, you end up falling in love with those kind of sounds. Hanging out with other jazz musicians, you know, uh, especially those who are old, much older than me when I was starting. And you know, that's what they'll do. They'll be, ah, you play well, but you're sounding like, uh, you know, contemporary guitarist. Just listen to this. And they'd give me, you know, albums. And I thought it would be guitar players like George Benson, Jonathan Butler. But it wasn't. It was Charlie Parker, this is last week. Prepare it, prepare it, prepare it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's. But now, after a while, you know, you get used to it. It's an acquired taste, most people say. So, you get used to it, and those, uh, you know, kind of reflect, you know. The, the guitar, the figures have a life of their own because they sing what is in your subconscious. You know, they kind of just get a hold of it, and that's, what, that's how it's happening. Playing small tunes, simple tunes, more difficult tunes, and with everything else, you know, whether you're a businessman, you're a doctor, you're. Catering or your uh, service entertainment, anything that you do, you always look for the other extra step. You know, you want, you want to get better. You want to see whether you can do any better. So that's how I started. Simple tunes, more intermediate tunes, and to be more comfortable.
is a Daniel Dewar production.